in Hollywood, celebrity restaurants are the hottest thing going. Celebrity's fame brings that extra buzz that can turn any restaurant into a super hot spot. We're the Dolce Group. I'm Mike Mallon. And I'm Lonnie Moore. We've opened 12 of the hottest restaurants all over the country. With some of the highest profile celebrity investors and have made millions doing so. No one knows better than us how to open a new place and make it a Hollywood hit. Now we're trying something incredible. We're opening up a new restaurant on the Sunset Strip and we're looking for a celebrity partner. But this time, we're looking for someone to roll up their sleeves and actually work in one of the toughest businesses around, the restaurant business. So, we found seven celebrities willing to do just that. Cheers! Over the next several weeks, they'll have to learn how to work together so that they can successfully open up the brand new restaurant. Let's get this restaurant open, baby. By no means is this an easy task. Bop, 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 bop. I need a concept. We'll be watching them throughout the entire process. And in the end, if they can get the place up and running to our high standards, we'll choose one of them to become our partner. You're stopping me from getting my kitchen open. This is a competition, and I intend to win. I came up with the idea for their menu. That was my idea. I'm going to put together this restaurant if I have to do it myself. You're never going to get this place open, man. Right? I ain't quitting. I'm going to win it. Let's hope for this restaurant, seven stars does not mean a bad thing. What's up? Pimpin' that easy. I'm DJ Paul. Juicy J. What it do? And collectively, we are 3-6 three, three, six, six, Mafia. Mafia. Yes, sir. 40 million records sold, Academy Award. 2006, for Hard Out Here for a Pimp. For the movie Hustle and Flow. We still got the longest Oscar party going on right now. We live life to the fullest. To the fullest. Fullest. To the fullest. The right, edge. Right, right there. That's the edge. Put the foot at the edge of the mountain. Yeah. And then put the other foot on a banana peel. And just, and just see what life take you. We're here today because we are foodies. The ladies love it. We gotta sure. get this restaurant to something I've wanted for over 15 years. We even tried to launch yeah. a food cooking show last year. Now that's what I'm gonna show you a little trick. Hit it. Nobody like that. Yeah. But I want you to go. Cha-cha! Ready? Yeah. Woo! Right. How's that? If you can run a rap group that's full of guys from prison, yes, <laughs> you can run a restaurant. Who do you think it's gonna be? Man, I don't know. Hi, my name is Ashley Dupre. You may know me from a little scandal that happened in New York City. New York Governor Elliot Spitzer resigned after it was revealed he spent thousands of dollars on high-priced call girl Ashley Alexander Dupre, a 22-year-old escort at the heart of the scandal. It's been really difficult for me the past three years because I've been labeled in the tabloids as escort and that's not all that I am. I'm this goofy, loving, loyal person and I think people are going to be really surprised by that. I started hostessing when I was about 12 or 13, and by the time I was 15, I was managing. And I've always thought about opening my own restaurant, because I refuse to let my mistakes be what define me. Lord, have mercy. What wow. is up? Hi, Hello. I'm Paul. Hi. How are you? I know who you are. <laughs> Two things that I know about Ashley Dupree. She's hella fine. Mm -hmm. She loved to have sex. Bang, bang, bang. In my booth, in my recording studio, I got a picture of you in there. What picture? You got a mink on. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And you're yeah. butt naked up under it. Yeah. And I hear I'm thinking it's like maybe the one from the New York Post. <laughs> no. I'm Jake Pavelka, and you would know me as a 14th Bachelor and from Dancing with the Stars. I'm the classic all-American guy, respects women, always looking for love in the wrong places. I'm an airline pilot as my day job, but I think it really surprised people to know that I've run three successful businesses. For years, I've been thinking about the restaurant industry, and this is a way for me to get my hands dirty, learn the ins and outs of being a restauranteur with somebody else's money. That's, that's 
Hey, how's everybody doing? What's up, man? So I walk into Geisha house and I see this really pretty girl sitting there. Ashley. Ashley, very nice to meet you. How are you? And two guys that look like they're probably on the top of the rap chart. Jake. How you doing, Jake? Very nice to meet you. And I don't know who any of them are. <laughs> you listen to much rap music, man? A little bit. A little bit? Who you listen to? Don't give me We Love Rock and Roll. Everybody no, 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 knows. No, no, give me the no. good stuff. When you're by yourself, you're in the house, candles burning, and you're getting out of your brain. What do yeah. you listen to then? Huh? You know what? I uh, come on. I usually listen to 80s stuff. <laughs> Good care of my baby, okay? I'm Danielle Staub, and you originally know me from the Real Housewives of New Jersey. I would say my personality is outgoing. Well, and controversial. <laughs> As one of the breakout stars of the Real Housewives of New Jersey, Danielle Staub is living the high life. The villain is okay. It's okay to be portrayed as the villain, but nobody deserved to be treated the way I was. This is so important because I'm a foodie. Plus I have a cookbook and hello, I'm Italian. So who knows food better than me? And I, I really like people a lot. I'm definitely a leader. And I really want to hear what everyone has to bring to the table because everyone's ideas are important. Mine are more important, but theirs are important too. Hello, everybody. Hey, how you doing? Hey. So Danielle walks in and now it's like 3-6 Mafia, we have Jake from The Bachelor, we have Danielle and it's like, okay, I feel that I'm going to make a lot of new really great friends and, and I can't wait. Someone that can pour me some water. I'll pour you some water, where's your glass? Yes. I'm gonna do flat water. You gotta crank wow. your legs up, come on baby, you hang with black guys now. Yeah. What well, makes down. you think this is the first time? Ah, uh, <laughs> Good one, good one. Yes, I'm a big fan to be honest. Thank you. Back. Oh, you a player. No. Oh, yeah. I'm not a player, I just crush a lot. <laughs> How you doing? Good, thanks. My name is Vincent Pastor, and uh, you know me probably from The Sopranos. Friends and family would probably describe me as um, a pain in the ass. A lot of people who know me as an actor don't know that for 20 years I was in the nightclub uh, restaurant business. And one of the problems you have in opening up a restaurant is uh, the health department, the building department, the fire department. And the only way I know how to take care of them is to slip in an envelope. I'm old school. Oh my God! Security! Security. How are you? Oh, what are you doing here? Vinny walks in, and as it turns out, I have met Vinny before. She Gonna make some meatballs with me. And, um, I think he thinks I like him more than I do. Are you, do you sing? I'm sorry, do you sing? You're an actor. No. What do you do? I have no talent. <laughs> Who is this guy? I'm looking across the table at this clean cut guy who could probably be swishy, to use the right term. Take so how do I call you? Uh, I'm DJ Pub. you can call so me call DJ. So call you what, I call you DJ? Yeah, DJ. And I see these two black mafia guys. These guys are wearing watches on their wrists that cost more money than I make in a year. Don't call me pussy on this show. <laughs> I'm not gonna call you pussy, I'm gonna <laughs> Call me Vinny on this show. Okay, I got you. Hello, how are you? Hi. I'm Heidi Montag, and you know me as a pop culture phenomenon. And for a long time, I was the Hills girl who got a bunch of surgery. Heidi Montag recently unveiled her new and improved body and face and says she has no regrets about the difficult journey. Even though the 10 surgical procedures left her unable to move her face or speak normally, and she says they almost killed her. So now is the time to get beyond that and show who I really am. I would think people think I'm kind of this train wreck that hasn't wrecked yet. And uh, little do they know, I actually have a brain. <laughs> I grew up in the restaurant business since I was two years old. My parents owned their own restaurant and then I worked in one since I was 13. My parents' restaurant unfortunately just folded and I have really missed having that whole lifestyle of owning it. I will be the hottest restaurant tour on the Sunset Strip to ever exist. Wow. Whoa, whoa. Jesus. Hey, this the other person hey, who got the studio. Wow. Hello, I'm Heidi. Hi, Heidi. Hi, how Nice to meet you. Hello, what's your name? How are 
Jay, 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 Jay. I like the plastic. I love it. I love it. I love it. Man, hot. Hot. Ooh. So we got the bachelor and two hot chicks. Yeah. The mafia. I'm very excited. <laughs> oh, I have an idea. What about a fine dining Mexican restaurant? Let me tell you something. There's a taco bell on every corner that we don't need. No, to touch but there's Mexico. a difference between fine dining Mexican restaurant and fast food. There ain't none of my friends coming unless we got eggplant parmesan. What can I tell you? I want to have a celebrity chef. Kind of like a Benny Hanna. Coming in. Yeah, I'm with that. No, no, I'm thinking now. No, I want like a celebrity chef to fuse Tuscany Asian. We can do any kind of fusion. Let's put a stripper pole in the restaurant. I think that's a good idea. Stripper pole. Yeah. Oh my God, there's seven of us and we all have such like, different personalities. This is going to be so hard to pick one thing. Hello, hello. So who wants to open a restaurant? We All right. How are you guys doing? My name is Mike Mallon. And I'm Lonnie Moore. And we're the owners of the Dolce Group. So welcome. We're the Dolce Group. We brought these seven celebrities together because they've shown real interest in being in the restaurant industry. This is gonna be really challenging, a little more challenging than some of your previous gigs, but we're gonna have fun with it. We've done this 17 times around the country and other parts of the world. You know, we wouldn't just take on anyone. We've had celebrity investors in the past that have had a very passive role, and we're looking for someone who really wants to roll up their sleeves and get their hands a little dirty, and we hope that it's one of you guys. We're hoping that whoever wins ends up being a great day-to-day -day operational partner and not just a silent celebrity investor. So we get to see the place tomorrow? Tomorrow, tomorrow morning, bright and 9 early. 9 30, bright and early. Mike and Lonnie reminded us, hey, this is a competition. And all of a sudden, everybody was sizing each other up. Uh, to a fun five weeks, a successful journey. And, and one of you is going to be a partner with us in a new restaurant. Cheers. 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 Salute, wow. salute, cheers. Now it's time to get to business. I'm not here to judge. I I think I can win this. I am here to win. I'm the capo, the tutte de capo. I'm gonna open it and I'm gonna win it. All right, guys, so 9.30 tomorrow morning. Wow. We expect everyone to be on time. That means 9.25, I'll yeah. see you then. Wow. We gotta get this. Let's, hey, everybody, everybody. <laughs> let's get together, let's bust open this joint, man. Coming up. We're in the home of our future restaurant. Woo! Looking at the restaurant, it's a mess, a hellhole. Tell them some of the things you have to do. Determine the restaurant concept. Select a name. Design the floor plan. Pick a chef. Create a menu. Hire the kitchen Design staff. Design a logo. Fixtures. Carpet. Paint. Curtains. Plates. Cutlery. Table cloth. Napkins. We can't do this in no 28 days. Hell no. Nah. And later. You've been bugging me all day, telling me I don't know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm doing. You don't talk to me like that. Shut the up. Yeah, I see it up there, but how do we get in? Oh, Hello, we're here. We're the first ones to arrive. Three Six Mafia, first day of work, reporting for duty. We got there early because we know this is going to be our restaurant. Yes, sir. Ooh, what? Yeah. This place up, man. Damn, this place nasty as hell. <laughs> Looking at the restaurant, it's a mess, a hellhole. Woo! I was just waiting for rats and roaches to jump out. It was crap mess. everywhere. It was a mess. Order's up. So I walk into the restaurant. Mafia? This place smells funky. Man. It looked like somebody died and a bunch of Italian ladies came in and grabbed everything they can get. I mean, it was like gutted, empty. I mean, nothing. Nothing. Hey, what's up? Yes. Hey. Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm so excited to get started. You know, this is something I've never done. I didn't hardly sleep last night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. What's up, man? What do you do? Nice to see everybody today. Let me say good morning and welcome to the Sunset Strip. We're in the home of our future restaurant. Formerly, this was ketchup. We decided to close it down to do something different and hopefully do it with one of you guys. The real trick here is that these celebrities have to learn how to work together to get this restaurant open. Otherwise, no one's going to win. But it's still a competition. So they have to work together, but they also have to stand out as individuals and impress us. Put things in perspective. We're opening up a restaurant in 28 days. We're about to give you $150,000. The key thing is, you know, you guys are seven people in the public eye, and you have to figure out how you're going to leverage that to the best of your ability. And I look around, a lot of you are very good at that. And you have to get creative and think how to use every single connection you possibly have. Tell them some of the things you have to do. Okay. Uh, determine the restaurant concept. 
select a name, design the layout and the floor plan, hire the kitchen staff, that's called the back of the house, create a budget, hire a designer, create a lighting plan, design a logo, pick out all the furniture, fixtures, carpet, paint, curtains, plates, cutlery, table clock, yeah. hire a contractor, pick a chef, along with that chef, create a menu, negotiate with suppliers, hire a general manager, host, servers, bartenders, train the staff, select the staff uniform. We can't do this in no 28 days. We can't do no. this in 128 days. Hell no. By the end of tomorrow, it's up to you guys to come up with not only a concept, but a name. So there's a lot to be done, but all we gotta do today is come up with a name that what we wanna serve. I mean, a monkey could do that. A monkey. This is gonna be the checkbook. We're gonna leave you with 5,000 cash, and there'll be a checkbook with 145,000 left. I would like to suggest that Heidi and I split the, the money. I'll hold the money. Listen, whoever, 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 we give him half and him half. Whoever holds the money, I'd, I'd like to vote, please. Why are we doing this? Should we do that with me? This is gonna be easy. Should we do that with me? We gotta vote on who handles the money. Stop. We're only 30 seconds in, and everybody's like, Look, everybody wants to win, but if we can't come together and work as a team, by the time Mike and Lonnie gets back, we're all gonna fail. Okay, I guys, we're gonna leave you with this. We got this, man. We got this. Concept and name. We got this. Concept and name. Don't be worried. All right? All right, guys, good luck. There is absolutely no way I'm giving up this checkbook. Money is power. And by taking control of the checkbook, I can show Mike and Lonnie exactly what I can bring to the table. They will see. I'm clearly their only choice to have as a partner. We have to come up with a concept first. Oh, I'm gonna first. tell you, I like the idea that you had about the Italian- In uh, Asian, Asian fusion. fusion. The Italian is good, but the sushi and all that stuff goes bad in two days. You're gonna be throwing away a lot of food and you're gonna go broke. Well, it's not it's gonna go bad. Point. You got an Italian, you got an Italian, you got an Italian. We won't have to worry about throwing nothing away. You know, no, I think, they're, I think what they're, 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 they're gonna do is they're gonna leave not satisfied, they're gonna leave stuffed and they're not gonna come back because they know you don't feel good when you're stuffed. We're not opening up a sloppy eggplant parm and meatballs and you know, I don't, nobody in LA wants to eat like that. Look at the results of eating like that. It cannot be healthy. Armenian people who got the money, that's a so bunch you, of them in there. Kebabs are good. I, we could put I anything on a kebab. You can do like them seared, meats. you can do them sliced, okay. so they come yeah, up. Okay, yeah. let's go yeah. to bachelor number 14. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know what, I, 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 there's so you many great, no, no, it's not that. There's so many great ideas. You know, yeah. I can vision doing something, you know, just real simple like hot wings and, and chicken fingers. Jake does the right to talk, but um, it was stupid. I just had an epiphany. He's Why do No, but it's an epiphany. Do we this. can all combine our ideas for the menu. You you had your time yours. to talk. He's talking now. Let's it's do an this. Epiphany. Good. You had an epiphany. Let the guy I talk. What really kind of food good. do you want? I think that's He's really good. He's not disagreeing yeah, with me, Vinny. If no, you were Vinny. listening, you would hear. Yeah, no, no, no. Oh, you're gonna start <laughs> fighting with me? Yeah. Why you, you fight with me? Because you're yelling at me. I'm not yelling at you. Don't stop it. I'll yell right back. All of a sudden, nobody wants to hear what anyone's saying. People are already fighting in the first five minutes. It's just total chaos. I can hardly even get a word in. Okay, yes. so. No, where are you going? I ain't sitting next to you. <laughs> this ain't no desperate housewives, I'm telling you that. I thought y'all had some of the same friends. No, what it is, is he's allowed to yell, but I'm not allowed I to I didn't yell at you. I didn't yell at you. I would not, Don't go no, saying I yelled back, at you. Back, back to the phone, back to the yeah, phone. Pancakes, pancakes, back to the phone. pancakes. The Every time somebody argue, we're gonna say pancakes. So I didn't know what the hell those two guys were talking about. All I gotta tell you is this, we gotta get this place open. I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna tell you something. You know that Italians and blacks have the same blood. Yes, You know that Hannibal came over <laughs> into the streets of Gibraltar and he boffed every Italian woman up and down the coast? Uh. That the Italians and the blacks are the same? Do you know that? Capiche. I think it's the first time in the history of LA Capiche. we should have an Italian Forget soul it. restaurant. Let's go. Yes, Forget about it. Yeah. Let's go. I'm oh, yeah. That. And yes, then I'll have enough money to buy one and I'm watching. <laughs> yes, it is. And that's fusion. That's, that's fusion. fusion. So everybody wins. Italian soul fusion. So would that be a drumstick with a piece of spaghetti wrapped around it? I have no idea what that means. I really don't. I don't know what that means. Hmm. So it's gonna be Italian soul fusion. Okay. So I also think that the concept is one of the most important things. So I think fame, you know, like the new fame, the new kind of celebrity, and really sexy, fun, fame. Is a fame. Great name. Yeah. Yeah. fame is 
is a combination of all of us because we're famous. <laughs> love fame. Fame. I love the name fame because we're famous and it's glamorous and it's a lifestyle and there's paparazzi. Most people aspire to that and so why not channel that into a restaurant? And we're not in just any town, we're in Hollywood. This is the fame capital of the world. This isn't just in New York or something, you know? Maybe this isn't as hard as we thought. If we already have the concept, we have the name, we have the cuisine, maybe we'll open early, you never know. Coming up, my friend Richie Palmer is willing to come in here and help us design the menu. Let's go. I'm not taking time to make Vinny look like a big shot. Let's get ourselves a restaurant. Where's those two girls? I'm quite sure I'm not missing anything that's more important than what I'm doing right now. It's called happy hour. <laughs> And later. You don't want to the listen to me, The male penis Danielle, doesn't allow you don't show a woman up to speak up for herself. You're wrong. Get the f out of here. Okay, so the name is Fame, and we're gonna serve Italian Soul Fusion. What's the decor? That's what we need to figure out next. Well, it's What's fame. We could really go with those purples. And those I say we. Uh, I, love that. I, love I, the I just. Oh, yes. I say we leave the carpet. All these ideas are floating around, and I think this is the point where it's like we're seeing who's dominating. I think that's half the theme nice. of our restaurant is bling. Yeah, no, I, I think that's half of our no, theme. And the ideas that are floating around are insane. Bling, like bikinis or something yes. like that, and they could dance in the windows and they could bring in so many people. Yes. You on a pole, on a pole. I really like this. And of course, three six always comes back to stripper poles. Hey, here stay, we go. Stay. <sighs> Hey, it's a balcony. People can smoke. Ooh, so we need to have some girls up here with Mardi Gras beans. Hey, 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 hey. How much, how far can we open here. this? This is amazing. The window opens all the way, and it's like we're outside. We're on the second floor, and we're half inside, half outside. Hey. Holy <laughs> Check out the now big brain What is this? It takes this dump, and it gives it like some kind of character, and I was not expecting that. <laughs> This is un. Uh, look at this natural on light. Now. <laughs> Man, that's uh, dope. We gotta leave these windows open. This is the coolest part of this. What whole about restaurant. like you guys? What about like a picnic table-y type feel? Kind of crazy, like nice. No, but nice. Like nice wood. Like and gold checkers. <laughs> yeah, totally. No. I see Ashley as an assistant. It's very important. Assistant's job is completely important. I don't know what I'd do without my own. Let's let the interior designers. But this oh, is yeah. like Trap. California. Trap. This is like it's not crazy. the country. Really? Picnic tables isn't like California? <laughs> no. <laughs> Picnic is a really, really bad idea. This is why we're looked down upon in the workplace. Thanks, Ashley. Pass around a piece of paper who write down what kind of coffee you guys want. Are you guys coming back at 6 o'clock? Yeah, we'll be back in an hour. My friend Richie Palmer is willing to come in here and help us design the menu and give us some of his chefs. Richie and I ran clubs together from 1975 to 1987, and he's been one of the most successful small businessmen in this town. So Richie's coming at 6 o'clock. Everybody wrote down what they wanted? Danielle? Yes. Are you hear what I said? I heard what you said. I see Heidi as a go-getter like me. Thank you. Let's go. And I felt like a side of her, like a camaraderie between us, like, you know, a kinship. I wanted to connect with her a little more. She wanted some wine. So we both have motivations. Oh my gosh, they have crepes. That's like my favorite thing in the world. I gotta have one. I've been no, working really even. hard all day and I wait till five o'clock. I'm really proud. We have them. And you can keep five dollars. That's right. <laughs> it's on our budget. Right business mogul meeting, because that's this us. Is... I like this counter thing. Cheers. Oh, look how nice this is, too. Salute, baby. Cheers. Salute. Salute. I don't really feel competitive with Danielle. I've really liked her from the beginning, and then today I got the opportunity to team up with her. All right, so now we get to truly strategize without the presence of the others. Oh, I can hear you, what a difference. It Hello. is, it like, is right, so right. nice, right? I want us to be like the secret team. <laughs> so win. here's the strategy. Okay. If we can pull, because we have the most connections, who's going to bring the people and the celebs in and all the connectors? We do. We pull our resources together. She really did kind of want to team up, and it was just me and her, and we're like this duo, and we have the most connections. Vinny, it takes him what? We're not even gonna get into it. Jake's good, but he's not strong enough to run a restaurant with anybody. Ashley's really sweet and cute. She could be an accountant or something. <laughs> but um, oh my gosh, you and I funny. have the connections. That was space. so and When funny. we open this, 
who's going to bring the people in, the celebs in, and all the connectors, and we're, un, we're, we're known. Right. So that's huge. People want to be a part of that. And my husband grew up in L.A., and I worked oh, at a your restaurant Your husband's huge, group. too. Right. I worked in restaurants, personally, as a hostess, waitress, bartender for six Me years. Too. And my parents had a restaurant growing up since I was two and years old. And I worked old. in champagne rooms, and then I was an investor in two restaurants, one in New York and one in South Beach, before it really became happening. That's a lot it's of hard a work. a lot of hard work. And if you can't roll up your sleeves, it's not going to happen. Absolutely. So here's the rolling up our sleeves. Cheers. We have to. Salute. Hard work. You do need one other person just ready to jump right in there. I feel like she and I are going to go neck and neck for this. But it is a chess game. Oh, and you can believe I'm going to keep her as close to me as I can. Let's get ourselves a restaurant. Okay. We're okay. going to win. We, we should are. win together. We are going to win together. Okay. That's why I'm here along with you. <laughs> Fame appears to be already trademarked by MBK Entertainment Group in New York. Yeah, but can well, you we... Just change another, we change the name then. Actually, you can call it Fame on Sunset Boulevard. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Go like that, Fame, and then small, you go of Sunset Boulevard. I like that because that's, that's giving a name and a direction at the same fame. time. You know what's so funny? I bet they're doing nothing upstairs. Nothing. Vinny's yelling. <laughs> Hurry up. Let me see Where are time. they with our coffee? Where's Vinny's those two girls? I don't know. I don't think they like us. If they don't come back for that meeting with the with this guy Richie at six o'clock, it's not professional. They'll be back. No, they'll be back. Yeah. It's fifteen minutes, fourteen minutes. They'll be back. I thought they were gonna grab coffee and, and have a little faith. You know, come back up. And if they're not gonna be present, you know that they're doing something constructive. I just wish, you know, I'd like to know what it is. I'd like to get excited about it too. Should we head back up? Yeah, I'm gonna finish my wine. I wanna ask for another taster. <laughs> Wait, can I do this one more? When I get their coffees, I'm gonna ask for one more taster. Okay. Coming up. Why are you gonna be sarcastic for? No, I'm not being. You weren't even here for the meeting. With Vinny, I am more and more agitated. Oh, oh give me a God. break. You yelled at me. You know? And I didn't you allow know you to do that. Crazy bitch. Richie. Uh oh. Come on, Ash. What is that? Richie. This mother look like money. Richie can't look like Wayne Newton. His shirt. Muscles in open muscles. He got the hair like that. And he's orange. <laughs> very, very orange. Orange. This is Ashley. Hi, Richie. Hi. How are you? Uh, wait a Pleasure. second. Nice to meet you too. Richie has a big compulsion about going after young girls. He's going to ask you for your phone number by the end of the hour. And he, he should. He took off his glasses for me. Did you see when he shook his hand? He was like, polite, yeah. polite. And how are you? Richie and I, guys, grew up together. We ran a disco in the 70s. <laughs> 70s. And there's two people that did one for coffee and never came back. Girls? 16 years I was married. No way. That's so long. I wasn't with my husband, I'd be alone for the rest of my life. It's called a vow. It's not until divorce is more gross. It's, uh, that's good, it's for, I'll find you. Yeah, and I'm going up there to find you afterwards. You're still mine, so yeah. don't be hooking up with the Forever. angels. Please, I am one. Questions, really. Richie, do you know anybody who can clean that kitchen for us? Yeah. Good. When can we get him here? Tomorrow. I have Find out how much it's going to cost. It's going to cost you a few hundred dollars. Yeah, yeah, how about a couple hundred dollars? I'll get that too. He's yeah. my guy. Well, I don't know what the girls were doing downstairs, and I really didn't care. All I know is that we're moving forward, and they missed the meeting. Aww. Hello. Can I try a different wine? <laughs> it's called Happy Hour. Should we not order a glass? <laughs> it's, it's wine o'clock. taste? Anything in life you can get for free. I know. I believe that. I wasn't just drinking wine. I was also doing research. So I thought that was really important to kind of do two versions with one stone type of deal. And I learned a lot. Now you gotta oh, yeah. drink that last sip. What are you doing? Okay. No, don't, wait, wait, wait. Don't okay. waste that. <laughs> Try every sip. I was multitasking and showing my skills. Next. So, do you think we're gonna be like knocking heads? Heidi and Danielle, they wanna go do their own thing. Totally fine, not a problem. But it's our first meeting together as a group, as a team. I text them, I want everybody to be there. We have a 6 p.m. <laughs> meeting, we know. Now you Where have a 6 p.m. No. <laughs> what should I write? No, you have a 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's write that. I'm not taking time to make Vinny look like a big shot. He's not a big shot. We're in LA, not New Rochelle, New Jersey. Nobody cares about 1970. Ashley, what's the budget? 
we have a That's 6 p.m. Me. meeting. Where are you guys? She said, no, you have a 6 p.m. meeting. Who said that? Danielle. I'm sure hope they didn't spend She's the cash. one who's going to make us have friction here. I'm quite sure I'm not missing anything that's more important than what I'm doing right now. OK, did we order the coffees? We had just a little bit of wine. Can you make the vanilla latte really strong? Who's carrying them upstairs? <laughs> I think I need the sunglasses. <laughs> wow. Are my teeth red? We can't. Uh, me? Oh, the coffee. <laughs> Oh my god, we forgot the coffee. The coffee. Oh. oh my god, we're locked oh. out. <laughs> Did they lock us out? <laughs> I'm glad you're leading. You're way prettier. Hello. Hi. Hi, hey. we've got so many things about you. I'm Heidi. Hi, Richie. How are you? Hi, I'm Pleasure. so sorry we're late. That's okay. We're okay. meeting downstairs with the owner of the restaurant. Oh, yeah? Here you go, yeah. One of those vanilla lattes is mine. Walk upstairs with Heidi. I'm introduced to Richie Palma. He looks like the Italian George Hamilton. Where do you get that tan? I just got back from Hawaii. I have a Good for you. I've never been there. He's got you a go? more of a pizza oh! tan. Oh! Ashley, yeah. what happened? Oh, He's got a boyfriend. He's got a boyfriend. Oh! 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 We got to keep Richie around. We got to keep Richie around, He's man. orange. He's a player. He's rich. He's real smart. He knows the restaurant business. Pimp, pimp, pimp. We do appreciate Thank your time. You. What are you going to be sarcastic for? No, I'm not being. You weren't even here for the meeting. I have a question for you. What do you think about our seating? Do you think that booths are a great idea in here? You're under the gun, so I would use what you have. If you hate something, Absolutely. change it. Have you seen the kitchen? Yes. You said it it needs to gut. We're cleaning it tomorrow. Not, not, not the appliances. No, the not kitchen the appliances. is getting We're cleaned. We're cleaning tomorrow clean. for $200, Danielle. You're not letting me finish a sentence, Vinny. Oh, when I finish a sentence, <laughs> then you can attack. Attack? Attack. This is a desperate housewife. Stop with that. With Vinny, I am more and more agitated by the moment. I don't understand why people really think that I don't know what I'm doing. I have said you know what you're doing from the beginning. Richie, how many clubs did I run? Several. What you year was that, Richie? <laughs> Doesn't matter oh what year God. it is. Oh, oh give me a God. break what year it is. God. What what are you talking? It's about the same it thing. Well, the girl from New Jersey says I'm a burnt-out hippie, and the last time I opened up a joint was 1975, and I can never get one open today. And uh, I'm beginning to f kind of feel like I'm uh, cornered. Oh, You're telling me if I opened up a place in New York, I couldn't get it going now. Yes, You're telling could. me if I call the Big Pussies on Broadway. You're telling me I couldn't do uh, get it going, Danielle. That's a great name. I'm not telling then you. What are you I'm telling me anything. that I don't know anything about the business? And then leave me alone with this and let me do what I gotta do. You've been bugging me all day, telling me I don't know what I'm doing, and I know what I'm doing. You don't talk to me like that. You know, Shut the up. You know, you crazy bitch. Start with me on the first day here. You know what? Excuse me. You, know? you yelled at me. You know? And I didn't you know allow what? you to do that. You so don't want to listen to me, Danielle. And you don't show up at six o'clock. You're wrong. Get the out of here. Talk to me like that. Get out of here. Danielle and Vinny. Danielle and Vinny. <laughs> Danielle. <laughs> Richie, let's go. We're out of here. Let's go, Richie. You in first Come on, don't even give him one more advice. Come on, let's go. Uh, no, 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 no,
So we understand, you know, you guys had a long day yesterday. We're really looking forward to hearing what you came up with for a concept and the name and, and see where we go from here. Mike and Lonnie arrive and I'm very excited to be presenting the concept. I'm taking it very seriously because this just might be my shot at being an owner maybe a partner with them. The colors that we have come up with are purple and gold, and it goes along with our theme, which is our name, Fame. Fame is all about glitz, and its fame is, is gold, and it's rich, and purple is passion, and, and fame is very passionate. Okay, so these are, Do, these are kind of like the, the inspirational colors of the place? These, these are inspirational because the... I, yeah, and you are going to see them. But what are we gonna taste? Let's you are see. going so to fame taste. Fame is the name. Fame is the name. The menu is going to be collectively, from all of us, some of our own original recipes. Each one of us picked dishes that we really would love, and we did the menu menu all together. So the concept for the menu is to really have a, a soul and Italian fusion. Which is a really big collection, collection and collaboration and it's never been done. I see Mike and Lonnie's face like stone cold. You know, they're, they're not into it. They're not liking the whole concept. Just to start off, you know, I, I think that we, we definitely appreciate your passion. You know, we certainly don't want to bust any bubbles, but... Just say In all due respect, it sucks, the idea. We're opening a restaurant in 27 days, and you guys want to start a whole new type of cuisine that's never been done before. It's great that they were able to come together and at least get a basic concept, but the rest of their ideas are scattered all over the place, and of the seven, I haven't really seen anyone who's worthy of being a part of the Dolce Group. An entire day has been completely wasted. In every aspect of the meaning, we are back to square one. Hey, it's Vinny Pastor. For all the raw and uncensored moments, go to famousfood.vh1.com and look for the real network's logo. Bada bing. You know, we certainly don't want to bust any bubbles, but Just in all it. due respect, it sucks, the idea. We're opening a restaurant in 27 days. It went from 28 to 27 now. And you guys want to start a whole new type of cuisine that's never been done before. And you're, you, in a sense, inventing a cuisine. And, and it's kudos to you to have the lofty ambitions, but it's very lofty. Let's think of the big picture first, all right? right? The big you, picture. Would you change the name or the whole entire concept? Yeah, or I'll is it start just with the, the name right now. Okay. You guys. Let me ask you guys, when you get a plumber to do your hair, you want, would you? People in LA don't want to go to a restaurant because you guys were on a show. They just don't want to do that. Come up with a concept that we can really open in 27 days. Because a soul, a neo-soul Italian concept, designing this menu, <laughs> designing the restaurant, getting it out there, and getting the public to catch on, it's not going to happen in seven days. Listen, the one thing about it is the street's so intimidating. Yeah. That it seemed like a simple idea was would, wouldn't, you know. Dan Danielle did a good job of stepping up and running with it, but the truth of the matter is, her ideas are so off base, I don't see any of them working. There's an alternate that we've been talking about. Let's hear it. That's her idea. Ashley, sorry. I don't know, I was really hung up on the idea of like, cause these doors, these windows open, which yes. is, it's like amazing. amazing. It totally changes the feel of everything. I kind of like, like really old, like fun, like wooden picnic tables. I love it. I like that idea. Would something like that work? Like where it's simple food like that but made elegant? I like, I like the picnic table idea. It's something a little different that's fun. They love the idea and it's mine, so awesome. If we can find a designer to design this place like an out, like a park or an outdoor, that's not a bad idea. It goes with our small budget, it goes with our short time period that we have to do this. It's kind of original too. I haven't actually come... You know, maybe it's little little touches where you, you yeah. serve something in little picnic baskets or the whole you know dish entrees come out in a picnic bath. I mean, I think this is great. This has been revelatory right now. I was really impressed with Ashley's performance tonight. The team was all over the place, but she stepped up, gave an idea that we can get behind, something I think this team can really work towards. Today, it's pretty clear to us that Ashley has the MVP. I think we finally got on the right page. Thumbs up, let's go forward with this, please. <laughs> they love picnics, they want that theme, so Ashley is like my new best friend. It's been a pleasure, thank you guys. Good luck, good luck, see you later. Bye. Oh hell no, I hate picnic. I think everybody immediately went from five star to drive through. Not even drive through, drive up. Not happening, not on my watch, sweetie. 
telling you. All hey. you gotta do is pull those chairs up, pull the wooden bench going all the way across. That's a good idea. Yep, that's it. Bench. That is so this simple. Ball, strip of ball, let's go. Yeah. This season on Famous Food. Gotta nail down the chef. Let's do like a cook-off. 24-hour braised beef short rib. Say roasted organic yam. That is like made me so sick. Hire the kitchen staff. Don't underestimate the fact that so many of them are gonna be terrible. Do you got any experience? No. It don't matter. You look good, you're hired. Train the staff. Hire a contractor. Create a menu. Select the uniform. Create a budget. Floor plan. Lighting logo. Furniture. Fixtures. Carpet. We only got 28 days to pull this off. I mean, this is crazy. Everything stops. It's all shut down. So hard just went to 99% impossible. We failed our fire inspection. The kitchen is screwed. Our first issue is no gas in the kitchen. Four out of the five refrigerators are broken. We're about to lose the sign guy. We have to see more than 24 people in the center of the dining room. You don't have any more money to buy any more tables and chairs. The tasting is second. The menu is first. There's a long way to go with this menu. This is a totally different menu. Snake, you Slytherin. I think we need to let Chef Clark go. This, to me, is breaking my heart. We cannot afford to mess up again, guys. Every time I think we've got it figured out, take 10 steps back. We're never gonna get this place open, man. We are back to square one. This competition, it just got way out of control. Talking about the checkbook, you don't even know how to balance an account. How can you say how you have leadership? You weren't even at the training last week. I came up with the idea for their menu. That was my idea. Don't ever disrespect me, you got that? Let us not come back. Let us go back to death for whatever. I dedicate my time here. Do I look like a smile? They're winning time. No, you're wrong, because it's our part. <sighs> so check yourself again. If everyone keeps fighting, I really don't know if we'll ever get this restaurant open. 5500 They could not get it done. You touch me one more time. You. You. We seriously messed up. What do you want to do for your 21st birthday tonight? Uh, he said he wants to go to a strip joint. Yeah, yeah man, you know, somebody sitting here? I thought you were hanging out with Hu Tang. <laughs> Who's Hu Tang? I'm talking about Wu Tang. Hu Tang who? What? Who is Hu Tang? Hu Tang Clan? No, Wu Tang Clan. Who? It's called Wu Tang. Because Stevie Van Zandt produced them. What was it called? Wu Tang. Is it Black Guys? Yeah. They did hip hop? Yeah. You like Bruce Springsteen? Mm hmm. Oh, good for you. <laughs> 